This church, located along a wooden lane in Buena Vista Township, was the heart of New Kuban, a community of Cossack immigrants who fled communist Russia after World War II. Younger generations have spread out across the country, but many return for its annual celebrations, and a few remain to keep its heritage alive. My, step, my stepfather and my mother. Well, I'm one of the newer immigrants that came both going back into the early uh, 50s that came to America. Uh, and we settled first in Philly for about four or five years, and then we moved to Lansville because this was supposed to be the new Cossack settlement. It started back in 1950s, early 50s, and uh, this community was donated, the, the ground for this community was donated by the Ford Foundation. And in 1953, the people settled here and incorporated. Uh, the land was sold for $20 an acre. The reason for the, the sale was to pay for the subdivision of the land. Other than that, the land was for free. Tony Zinchenko has curated the New Kuban Community Center and Museum for decades, amassing an extensive collection of Cossack artifacts. Uh, this sword here has engraved into the scabbard six people. At the time when I got it, I did not know who they were. There is one woman and five men. It took a little bit of digging, we found out what this was. In 1823, Greece was under Turkish occupation. Apparently, the Cossack who owned the sword itself, this is a Cossack sword, went to Greece and helped them to drive the Turks out of Greece. And for that, whether he lost his scabbard or whether they just gave him for exceptional merit, remembrance, the six heroes of the Greek Revolution. They're engraved into the scabbard. And I'll show you something else. Where do you see steel like that? Tony plans to expand the museum, which is open to the public upon request. Preserving his community's history is a passion project many years in the making. 